Welcome back and good day everyone. Today I'll be analyzing the parallel bar routine of Carlos Yulo from the Philippines. Now most of us are aware of the historical powerhouses in gymnastics, Japan, Russia, China, America, but it's not often you hear of a rising gymnastics star from the Philippines. Japan has given a lot of support to the Philippine gymnastics program and Carlos's coach is actually Japanese. Well, until recently. Kugamiya was a longtime coach of Carlos until they recently parted ways. Kugamiya is open to returning as his coach, but he feels Carlos has slipped a little in his commitment to training and would like to see more devotion from the athlete. I personally hope they reconcile as Kudumiya has done a great job coaching Carlos. Carlos does demonstrate many of the positive characteristics we see in many of the top Japanese gymnasts. He is patient in his routines. He pays a lot of attention to execution and precision in each skill he does and you'll see this in this parallel bar routine today. Let's start the analysis. He starts off with a peach to one rail. He gets his hands on the one bar very fast and continues to push without losing much upward momentum from his peach. Watch closely as he makes micro adjustments to his balance as he grabs the one rail. I've seen him perform many times on parallel bars, and although this skill requires an obvious amount of precision and balance, he is very consistent with this skill. You have to be consistent or you can't do the heli twirl down, which we see here. He gets that hand on the bars very fast and this helps him control the swing out of the skill. From the side angle, we can see it more clearly. Here, he prepares for his makuts, and as he swings up, we can see he bends his arm quite a bit. I've seen this technique in many other athletes, and I think it helps them get on top of the one rail very fast so they can make micro adjustments to their balance better. Remember, this is all happening very fast. This puts him right on top to a vertical handstand, and it makes the heli twirl down much easier to control getting that hand back on the bar fast. Now into his regular heli twirl. He's very comfortable with heli twirls and very consistent. If we reverse a heli twirl, it looks just like a Diamondoff if it's well done and his does. Pirouette. Now he moves into his cast to upper arms into his back uprise front toss. Many people will pause and reset at this point just a little to make sure they have a powerful enough swing to do their front toss. Carlos has a smooth transition here with no significant pause or reset. Watch how fast he flips and how fast his hands get back on the bars. The faster he gets his hands on the bars, the more control he has of the swing out of the skill. Too little swing and you bend your arms. Too strong of a swing and you fall forward. This is well done. Swing to handstand. In this routine, he does a straight leg moi, which is pretty easy for him. Now sometimes he does a front one and a quarter flip to a glide kip, which is much more difficult, but much more fun to analyze. Let's take a look. Great position here to create power in the swing. He actually gets much higher on this skill than he does on his double front with a half twist dismount. He rotates very well and clears the bars with his legs very comfortably. One of his rare execution flaws that stand out to me is that he flexes his feet through the bottom swing here. Remember, this is slow motion. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of world champion Zhou Zhuyen. They both start off with very open shoulder angles, setting up for a powerful swing. The release point is almost identical as they push the bars away. They rotate at slightly different speeds, but as an estimate, I would say they are close to the same height at this point. Again, very similar position here. Yes, Zhao has more of a rounded back and his head slightly up, but no big difference here. Here we can see Zhao is slightly more rotated because he has held on to his pike position a little bit longer than Carlos. They both swing powerfully and comfortably out of the skill. Glide kip, pirouette, now into his babzar. His shoulders move straight towards the ground, leaving his feet behind. This replicates a reverse heck tap beat, commonly done on the high bar, to help with counter rotation. At his peak height here, he has plenty of room to clear the bars with his legs, and his tap beat rotates him easily to reach out and grab the bars in front of him. From the side angle here, we can see how far he travels forward. Look where his hands release the bar and look where they re-grab. This helps him rotate. A very high angle swing out and kip into an LC. In this side-by-side -side of Zhao and Carlos, we can see they use similar tap swings, but Zhao seems to go much higher due to his more aggressive and exaggerated tap swing. They both drop their shoulders down in preparation for their glide kips. Pirouette. Just like the Bavzar, he pushes his shoulders down to the ground, and this gives his feet time to move through the bottom of the swing so he can throw his feet down and counter-rotate to get his chest back on top to the straddle L position. Because his kick through is a bit cut short, he doesn't rotate as much as he could to get on top here, so his legs drop a bit. Still, he completes the skill smoothly. Now into his Diamondoff, then front uprise to a double front Branny out. From the side, we can see this is a very high and elegant front swing. He shows great shoulder flexibility and potential power in this swing. Now he opens up to release that power into his swing. 
Now he releases the bar. He's actually much lower here than on his front flipping skills earlier done in the routine. This tells me he relies mostly on the speed of his rotation rather than height in his dismount. We can see he gets around very easily. I would say in competition he sticks this dismount more than half the time. As he works we can see his patience, paying attention to detail and trying to do each individual skill as perfect as he can. This is really clean and beautiful parallel bar work. I look forward to seeing what he puts together for the Olympics in Paris. Thanks again for tuning in to my analysis of Carlos and I hope you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Please like and subscribe to my channel and leave any thoughts you have in the comments. Until next time, rock on!